again. This is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida. This is Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. I may have to focus that again. I'm using vivid, intense colors and a little tiny, little tiny squirt of one of these into one of these containers, my restaurant style containers, makes up a whole lot of color. Now I, I did a shovel pour on a black canvas and it, some of the colors is sort of dried darker. Um, this is a mix and quite a few of these now. This has got some extra titanium white in it. This has got some magenta on top of the um, dioxazine violet. <clears throat> this is mag quinacridone magenta and dioxazine violet and titanium white. This is the um, paroli orange with a little bit of the um, quinacridone red. This is uh, the paroli orange. This is a nickel azo gold. This is got a little bit of paroli orange in the Hansa yellow. And I can't, let's see, that's the phalo, phalo green. This is the yellow, the, the yellow green. This is a mix I should have made some more of that with probably a little bit of the phalo green added to the yellow. And this is my quinacridone magenta that I have placed in a bottle, wishing that I had all bottles. And so right now what I'm gonna do is take these two containers and this almost dry 12 by 24 inch canvas that I wish I'd done an hour ago instead of just 20 minutes ago. <coughs> Excuse the frog. So I'm going to make up two pans of colors. Oh, I forgot. I, I did make this one color with some extra polypore in it. Now my usual go-to is to start in the bottom of a container with about 25% GAC 800 by Golden. And then for this particular, for the original paint mix, I used, um, I filled it up to over halfway with Floetrol. So that was the red orange, and this is the quinacridone red. This is the, <coughs> excuse me, this is the dioxazine violet with some titanium white. The dioxazine violet, I will tell you, does dry almost black. Even if it's got three ounces of Floetrol and polypore or uh, vivid polypore or vivid enamel or whatever you put in there, it's going to dry very black. So I think I lightened it up by adding just a little bit of something to it, which I would just have to assume <laughs> would be titanium white. I haven't mixed any of the colors and added a little black to darken them up, but I would kind of like to have something that compares to the Prism Pour uh, Midnight Shadow. That's one of the aberrated colors. I, I don't know why I poured so much orange out of the gate, because orange will often affect other things. <coughs> this is the Hansa Yellow. I'm going to leave that because I'm going to use it again. Do I really want that green? No, I really don't. What do I want? I want to take some of the magenta, quinacridone magenta. Now that dries darker too. Now I'm planning on putting some gold in here because I have a bunch of Decor de Americana 24 karat gold. And I'm trying to make two pans of colors because I had a shallow pan last time and I almost ran out of color. And I don't really want to run out of color. That was the that was the Hansa yellow with a little bit of orange in it actually. And that was the the yellow yellow green. This is the phalo phalo green. I'm going to have to put these back, but at least I gave myself a bigger tray this time so I could get things in. This is Cobalt, Ultra, no, I keep getting saying Cobalt, no, it's Ultramarine. But I'm pretty, very sure that I have the um, Titanium White thrown in there for sure. I am having kind of a good time mixing colors. I can't promise you that I know there's an Aqua, and this is an Aqua with some of that yellow green in it. I kind of wanted the colors to be different than usual. 
This is that weird green, <laughs> which I don't think I was planning on using. Let's give that a stir if I can find something. That's better. That's kind of a that's kind of a pastel by comparison. Let's use some more of that. I don't really want to use up all my colors right now. So here's that. Let me see if I can grab that aqua. What is the aqua called? The aqua is called cobalt aqua. That's where I got the cobalt from. And this is that. This is the cobalt aqua. I have some pale blue, but I think I'll give it a miss. I, I guess I'm going to indulge myself in a little bit. Take a little risk with this dioxazine violet. Two nice pans of color. Get these out of here. Now I, I could have put the, um, the Decor at Americana 24 karat gold underneath, but I decided that I'd rather float it on top. I've got one color I didn't use. I didn't use the Paroli orange. Or did I? No, I think I... No, I didn't. And I think I'm going to want some more... Some more magenta. Conacridone magenta. Because it's gorgeous. Now, this is the thing that takes the most of time, is mixing, putting the paint in the pans. There's a few colors I don't really want to cover up much of, and that would definitely be the Quinacridone Magenta. I like that purple. I think I might want some more of it. didn't have enough paint last time, so maybe I'm overcompensating. Oh, you know what? That's not the 24 karat gold. That's the Mayan gold. And that's unexpected. They're the same size bottle. Well, actually they're not, but I got it wrong, no matter what. So instead of, instead of the Decor 24 karat gold, that's the Mayan gold. It's a prison pour. I'm a color art affiliate, and you can get a 15% off coupon code right underneath the video, and it will and it's also a link that'll take you right to the color art website. <coughs> I don't know, this keeps happening with my throat when I start to make a video. I'm going to add some more quinacridone magenta. And then I'm just going to go to town, hopefully. I thought about using a much smaller scoop, which I've done before. This is an unusual setup because I haven't, I don't usually use gesso and um, I bought some cheap gesso from Sargent's. I don't recommend it, but I had some. I found some Liquitex on my shelf. So when I use that as an experiment, I found out that it does smooth out the canvas much nicer. All right, so where am I going to start? I'm going to start with any place that looks like it has that magenta in it. been thinking about using a shovel to do something that looks botanical. A lot of times these remind me of some kind of special sea creature. <coughs> I'd like my turntable to not run into that. But it's mostly the canvas so I won't worry about it. Alright, so I should use another shovel so I don't muddy my colors. I hadn't thought about that until right now. And I've got sweatpants on and I've got strings hanging down and they want to fall in the painting, I can tell. The 
That's an odd color combination. I'm going to let that go. Because I can. That's the name of my first book. The first mark isn't going far at all. And I think I'm going to use... Alright, so I'm not so, so sure I should have worried about the shovel since I seem to be sharing colors. I'm going to put that right there anyway. I wish I had a little more space. And I, and I wish I'd stop doing that, but I can cover that up fairly easily. So I'm going to keep doing that. As best I can. I guess I can't. But I do have a straw if I want to manipulate that. And now's a good time. Sometimes I feel like I should stop early on just because a lot of negative space never hurt anybody. <laughs> okay, I'm going from up there. One thing I did the last in the last painting differently was I put dots on in the paint like so and they kind of spread out and that was kind of neat because I hadn't done that before. I'm going to grab a little bit of this dark purple here because I'm feeling Doing alright considering I know the painting's background is still kind of kind of tacky at least and, and maybe even wet in some places. Because it's it wants my shovel to stick to it. I want more of that orange. Whoops. Almost shuffled my paint to a bad place. I can't can't do what I want to because it's very liquid. But I never have to worry about dripping on anything anymore. Because I'm trying to do it on purpose. Where's my straw? There we go. Why not try anything? All right, back to the greens, I think. So I probably have more paint than I need, but at least I don't have less paint than I need, which was my whole point. It's a lot different doing the shovel pour with a thinner viscosity paint. You have to be prepared for the change and the speed things come out. There's some beautiful colors leaching out of my shovel and I want them all, so I'm going slow. I 
and grab some of this green. Where am I going to go? Boy, that time went by fast. So I do sell my artwork in case you're interested in knowing that. <laughs> and uh, that's gold. I thought it was something else. And I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And I have playlists with over 28 lists of 100 videos. Yes, I'm dotting, taking advantage of the negative space and the residuals in my shovel. Trying not to go too crazy. I got one little space left over there and I kind of want something red in it. Do I have any red left? Well, it's a little orangey, but it still counts. Well, that was a mistake, but let's see if we can make it to look like it belongs. It's not terrible. All right, so what am I forgetting to tell you? Everything, basically. Um, I love you guys. If I can help you with anything, please feel free to ask questions. I'm, I'm pretty much always ready to answer questions. If I know the answer, I'll tell you. If I don't, I'll tell you that too. So I think I want a little... What, I think I didn't want the gold that I just got, but that's okay because I'll deal with it. Just pretend that it's supposed to be that way. Sometimes accidents are the way you learn things. Like a lot of times with, with accidental art at least. And I kind of like those dots the way they are. So you guys, I'm forgetting everything I'm supposed to tell you guys. I have 28 lists of 100 videos. And I have them also organized by topic and genre. And I'm happy to share those with you. This is turning out okay. I want something darker. I kind of like having the two pans of colors, although it's a little bit much to try and figure out. What I'm doing every second. Alright, I've got one minute left. What did I not tell you? Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting all the time on, and bringing you new tutorials for YouTube. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, it's $9.99 a month and you help support the production of videos and you help me buy art supplies and I really appreciate both of those things. Thank you very much. This is pretty cool. I like them on the black, but I like this too. And I'll probably just keep right on dotting for a while. See if I can just pick and choose my colors. I thought about making a little dish of colors, but really, I've got what I've got, and I need to use it up anyway, in my opinion. And I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check my link tree for my website. Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, you're gone. I'm sorry. <laughs>